What's up, fellas? My name is DJ, and today we're gonna talk about Anna, the new hero in Anna, Overwatch. Reporting for duty. Anna is a sniper and one of the founding members of Overwatch. She is also the mother of Farah, the Egyptian soldier, and her story is that she got shot in the eye by Widowmaker. She faked her own death to take a break from everything, and she only returned to Overwatch because she realized she was getting bored doing nothing with her life. Her role in the game is as a support sniper. Now, what that means is she is both a support and also a sniper. Duh. She is a mobile healing so source with both buffs and debuffs for your team and the enemy team, and she also has a disable. Because she is a sniper, she's able to support and heal her team from range and up close, and her ultimate ability gives her team an advantage when turning the tide in closely fought matches. So let's move on to her gear. Her main weapon is her biotic rifle. It's a sniper rifle in the story built by Torbjorn and Mercy, well not built, designed by them. The biotic rifle is her main weapon. It doesn't fire bullets, but instead it fires syringe-like projectiles like the syringe gun from Team Fortress 2. The weapon has a zoom scope since it's a sniper rifle and its projectiles have two functions. When you fire it at allies, it heals them for a percentage of their health. And when you fire it at enemies, it deals impact damage along with applying a very short damage over time effect. The biotic rifle is the bulk of Anna's main support role. With it, she can heal her allies without getting in range of direct combat and damage and debuff enemies for her allies to take down. However, since her projectiles both impact friends and enemies, this means she can't shoot through allies or their hitboxes, unlike Hanzo or Widowmaker, the other snipers. This also means that should you get into a crowded situation, your shots won't hit exactly where you're aiming. Up next is her abilities. Her left shift ability is a sleep dart. The sleep dart is everything it says on the tin. It's a dart that puts an enemy to sleep when you hit them with it. The sleep state, however, is extremely fragile as any incoming damage, be it from bullets, explosions, mace, ice, whatever, it will wake up the affected player instantly. Once put to sleep, the affected player stays in the sleep state for roughly 5 seconds or so. They can't move their camera, or actually I think they can move their camera, but they cannot move their character until the sleep effect ends or they take damage. The sleep dart is good for shutting down players casting their ultimate abilities or to stop them from taking advantage of their ultimates like Reinhardt's Earth Shatter or Bastion in tank mode. A good strategy for the sleep dart is to put a player to sleep and then ignore them while focusing on the rest of their teammates with your team. This shift in attention allows your team to take down the enemy team easier because they are effectively down a man while the affected player is asleep. Anna's E ability is her Biotic Grenade. The Biotic Grenade is her secondary source of healing as well as a buff for your allies and a debuff for your enemies. Using it is simple, it's a grenade. Press E to throw it in the low arc, it'll explode on impact with a surface or a player. The grenade's explosion has two effects. If allies are caught in the blast, they are healed for a large percentage of health compared to shooting them with your rifle, and are also given a healing buff that ensures that they recover more HP from all sources of healing. This includes med packs, Mercy, Lucio, so on and so forth. When enemies are caught in the blast, the exact opposite happens. They're damaged for a small portion of their health and are given a healing debuff that reduces their maximum amount of health. This means that, let's say for example, you throw the grenade at Roadhog, his maximum health is 600. Once the grenade hits him, his health will be reduced from 600 to a lower value. And this lower value is, of course, part of the grenade's effect. And this effect is temporary, it only lasts for several seconds. The biotic grenade's use in combat is primarily for healing and debuffing during moments of close combat. When in combat, you see your teammates struggling for health, don't shoot them one by one. Use your grenade, it'll heal them up to near full HP, which you can then top off by shooting them in the face. This also helps when your team is engaging the enemy. Since both allies and enemies can get caught in the blast, throw it into a fight to not only heal and buff your teammates, but to debuff your enemies for an advantage. Finally, her ultimate ability. Anna's ultimate ability is the Nano Boost, a special syringe filled with nanobots that deliver, of course, the Nano Boost. The ulti is, of course, charged by doing everything usual to overwatch, heal allies, damage enemies. However, the boost is single target, so only one of your teammates can take advantage of its effects at any one time. When in effect of the nano boost, your target gains increased movement speed, attack damage, and also gains increased damage reduction, meaning that they take less damage from enemy attacks. This effect lasts for about 10 seconds or so. Her ultimate ability is a massive game changer as it allows her to buff a strong or damaging allied hero when engaging an enemy. This is especially true when on capture point maps as her nano boosted ally can help to clear sieges or defensive lines, often by themselves. Some things to keep in mind when using her ultimate, it is single target, so you have to decide who it's best to give your boost to when you're engaging the enemy. Her ulti, of course, is voiced and audible through the whole map, which means it's going to draw attention to the ally that you've boosted. Use this shift in attention to help your team bring down the enemy team while they're distracted with avoiding your boosted ally. Last but not least, 
and a very 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 important point. Anna's ulti does not apply invincibility. It only reduces damage taken by a large amount. This is not invincibility. You are not invincible when under Anna's ulti. The only invincibility buff in Overwatch is in Yalta's ulti. To himself, not Anna. Moving on to Anna's role in combat, she as a support feels extremely similar to Zenyatta. Here's why. Both of them have direct single target heals, Anna's rifle and Zenyatta's harmony orb. Both of them have AoE heals, Anna's grenade and Zenyatta's ulti. Both have a debuff, Anna's grenade again, and Zenyatta's discord orb. Both of them do pretty good single target DPS, and both of them are made of wet rice paper against other offense heroes, sadly. The only difference between Anna and Zenyatta is that Zenyatta does not have a single target disable ability. Anna does, her sleep dart. So, when playing Anna, keep in mind that she's squishy as gelatin against offense heroes. Keep her distance, going close only if you have to, use a grenade and sleep dart as often as you can use them, and remember to think wisely about who on your team can use your ultimate the best. Right, time to move on to her strengths and weaknesses. Uh, from the little that I've played as Anna, she's already got a sizable pool of them. Firstly, her strengths. She is good against low health, lighter heroes like supports, other snipers, and builders. Anna is particularly a good counter against healers, specifically group healing, and here's why. Her biotic grenade. If used against a group, limits the amount of maximum health that group of enemies has for a short period of time. This impairs the abilities of healers to maintain their allies past a certain point. Of course, the effect only lasts a few seconds, but those few seconds are the key between pushing past a defense or falling short. Anna is also very good at helping her offense hero buddies to maintain their frontline capabilities. Since her rifle is, well, a sniper rifle, she can scope in and heal her friends from range to keep them in the fight without them running away for a med pack. This also means that, as a healer, Anna is more sustainable herself since her position far away from the front line means she won't get hurt or die as often. Anna is most effective against tanks, as her biotic grenade often knocks their health down to about two-thirds their original HP value. Don't quote me on this. Of course, since her grenade is a projectile, watch out for her shields. Reinhardt's Force Shield, Winston's Energy Barrier, Diva's Absorption Ray, and Zarya's Bubble Shield all block Anna's grenade. Poor Roadhog. <laughs> her Sleep Dart is extremely effective at stopping enemy ultimates. These are any ultimate abilities that actively involve the character, so Genji's Dragon Blade, McCree's High Noon, Reaper's Death Blossom, Ferris Barrage, Soldier 76's Tactical Visor, Torbjorn's Molson Core, but only for himself, not the turret, Hanzo's Dragon Strike, but only if you hit him before he fires it, Bastion's Tank Mode, Roadhog's Whole Hog, and Winston's Primal Rage. Anna is also effective against other healers, especially those without means to heal themselves like Mercy and Zenyatta. But while Zenyatta is also a DPS machine with his Discord Orb, Mercy has little means of self-defense. Lastly, Anna's kind of strong against melee fighters, I'm looking at you Genji, with a grenade toss to her feet or a sleep dart to the face, she can stop anyone who tries to hurt her in her face. Next, her weaknesses, and she's got a lot of them. Anna is weak against literally everything. Literally everything that has damage higher than, say, Mercy or Diva's pistol. While she does have a means of healing herself with her biotic grenade, the cooldown of the grenade itself is roughly about 8 seconds, and that 8 seconds is 8 seconds you're gonna be spending not being able to heal yourself. This puts her on almost the same level as Zenyatta and Mercy, since all of them do not have a regular sustained means of healing themselves. Well, except for Zenyatta and his shield. Because she's a sniper, she also suffers from the same lack of peripheral vision as Widowmaker does. When scoped in, you lose all your peripherals, and as a result, Anna is prone to getting flanked by offense heroes, especially Tracer. Her hardest counter is Farah. How ironic. And here's why. Her daughter's rockets have an AoE. She's got six of them, and she's able to fly. And when you're a grounded support sniper busy healing your teammates and not paying attention to your surroundings, an airborne Farah is almost a guaranteed death for you. Other hard counters for Anna include Reaper, Tracer, and funnily enough herself. Because she is classified as a support, her abilities also work way too well against herself. Which leads me to my last point, which is advice. If you're playing on a team that has an Anna, she's a healer first and foremost, so make sure she has line of sight. Unlike other targeted healers like Zenyatta and Mercy, Anna's heal triggers regardless of distance because of her rifle, but it is imperative that you maintain line of sight. If you're injured and there's an Anna on your team, seek her out. If she's far away, let her shoot you. If she's nearby, Bye. Call for healing and hope and pray that she notices and tosses a grenade your way. For people who love to main offense heroes or offense tanks, for example, 
Reaper, McCree, Reinhardt, or Bastion, Roadhog, Winston, these sort of heroes. Anna's ultimate is for you. The movement speed boost coupled with the attack damage increase and the incoming damage reduction are perfect if used on you. If and when an Anna boosts you with her ultimate, a good strategy is to disregard everything else and charge headlong into your foes, just like in the gameplay trailer. When you're fighting against an enemy Anna, like the points above, she is as flimsy as wet rice paper up close. When you know an enemy Anna is in the area, treat her like any other sniper. Flank around, get up close, and destroy her. Try to avoid her grenades as much as you can. Even if you have an allied Anna with you, the healing debuff the buyout grenade applies from an enemy Anna, it cannot be removed by an allied Anna. I tried it on myself, it doesn't work. If you get hit by her sleep dart, don't panic. Remember, any form of damage you take when you're sleeping wakes you up instantly. So don't panic and wait for, well, Sally, any incoming source of damage. Once you wake up, then you can panic. And that is that. I decided to make this video because of the lack of Anna support I've seen on YouTube. So I decided to make a comprehensive tutorial on how to play her, strengths and weaknesses, so on and so forth. I hope you like it. It's my first time making one of these. If there's anything that I need to improve on or anything else, please let me know with a comment in the comment section below. Leave a like as well if you liked the video. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos. I have more Overwatch stuff coming on soon. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta!